The year is 1987 and at two years old I received the spark that would become a hobby that would last me a lifetime in the form of an Indian cowboy figure that I would later find out was from a cartoon called Brave Star. Brave Star! Cut to 2024 where we're receiving not one but two Brave Star figures. The first and my most highly anticipated being the Ramen Toys Marshall figure and a surprise figure that popped up toward the end of last year in the form of this Dawson Toys Brave Star figure which we'll be reviewing today. It's not SH Figure Arts but dare I say it's even better. Now you might be like me as a kid and not know anything about Brave Star, you just see a cool looking concept of a figure. Don't worry, we're gonna give a little bit of review of his backstory. And I know the year is early, but stick around to find out why I think this figure will be one of the top 10 releases of this year in 2024. A bold statement to say, but you're a bold person. So stick around as we play this intro. Brave Star is the story of John Brave Star, one of the last surviving members on its home planet, wielding magical powers as an intergalactical space officer on New Texas. I don't know what's wrong with the old Texas, but we got a new one. He's of Native American descent and has the ability to call upon spirit animals, which give him the power of whatever animal he calls upon the names, like ears of the wolf, which allow him to hear real good, eyes of the hawk, which allows him to see far beyond what he's capable of, and I could use so I could stop wearing these glasses. I lost my contacts, that's why I'm wearing them. <laughs> Strength of the bear. He has the strength of a bear. Speed of the Puma, which gives him that flashed out speed. And when his lady's acting up, he calls upon Mind of the Honey Badger, because Honey Badger don't care. I just kind of threw that one in there. I kind of need that one sometimes. Now, like I said, that 1987 Brave Star figure was one of the first figures I had in my collection. I didn't play with it too much, but it was always somewhere in my toy box. And as a Latino kid growing up in Texas, always found this cowboy figure with brown skin very interesting, even though I didn't know the backstory. And that's one of the biggest issues that the Brave Star brand had in the 80s. So Mattel learned a lesson that some toy YouTube YouTubers can learn, sometimes the backstory and facts do matter. Think of the most popular brands that make it throughout the years, like Key man Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Batman. When I say those names, and if you're a fan, you can probably tell me some of the details with it, which is why when new figures come out or new images are shown, you feel a connection to it. And that's why we do it here on the channel. Let's take a look at his box. Since this is a third party figure, this, the box isn't of the highest quality. There's no new art or anything. You get that Brave Star logo right there. And then you get a silhouette of the sheriff on the back right here as well, along with those Brave Star logos. Dawson did not include their name anywhere on this box, so I had to Google who made this toy. So hopefully at least Ramen will have their logos on there and they'll send me a hat. Maybe? Not much to talk about with the box, so why don't you call upon the spirit animal of a two-year-old at Christmas and say those two magic words. Oh, baby. And there we have it. Ready, gotta tell you a lot of cool things about this figure, but first I gotta show you, it did come with this little backdrop. There you have the wolf, the bear, the puma, and the hawk. Honey badger wasn't there because the honey badgers don't care. Now this figure does have that SH figure art style of molding and whatnot. So instead of coming with swappable heads, he comes with five different face plates with different expressions. You get this intense screaming face plate. The stern face plate where he's looking off to the side. Another stern face plate where he's giving direct eye contact. And then this side eye look like he's confidently talking a little smack. And then on the figure you have this smiling confident face right here. Now surprisingly one of my favorite things about this figure wasn't actually just the figure itself. It's this display stand that comes with the figure. Which actually opens up and has a little compartment to keep all the extra hands and accessories that come with it. Which is awesome because usually all that stuff either goes in a baggie or like a drawer or somewhere. And honestly I forget I have it. <laughs> How do you guys store your stuff? Let me know in the comments. The figure also comes with this little hand display stand so you can keep them all together. And also makes it awesome for reviews for like displaying stuff. The figure comes with five different pairs of hands. The two fists that come on the figure you get these two hands for holding weapons two trigger finger hands two open palm or karate chopping hands and then you get these two fun hands the okay sign or major luck punch yourself like I said, this figure has that SH figure art style of molding on here. And you would think because it's a third party, you're going to have loose joints. All the joints on this guy are actually very tight. And one thing that's lacking on SH figure arts figures that this figure does have is paintwork all along the body. I mean, take a look at this shirt and the sculpt on here. It has this light yellow to like orange sun kissed effect. There's shading here on the side for the abs, shading on the forearm here. The pants, which are more orange, still has this sunburst kissed on here. Working your way all the way down to the boots, which was the most surprising detail check out these boots man like the way it just the paint fades from a light brown to the dark brown there at the end like i'm a texan i would wear these boots 
back of the body, great detail for his little officer suspenders. I don't know what these are. <laughs> they go down. I don't want to know what Bravestar is wearing underneath. Maybe that's what makes him so brave. In front of it comes up, you have his sheriff shield. The gloves have this silver paint that's on the side here. And I want to say, even if you look at the face, there's a little bit of shading on the face as well, like in the cheekbones. Even his rubber band is painted. So look, this third party put a lot of work and detail into this, which is what you got to do as an underdog third party company. You really got to stand out and go above and beyond because some of these bigger companies are letting us down with paint work and attention to details. Like this figure just gets me even more excited for that ramen toys figure that's coming out later on because that figure has more of a realistic aesthetic where this one's more from the cartoon. So it's good to have options of competition out there. His arms can go up about that high. You do have a swivel here in the bicep, 90 degrees in the elbow. You have a little bit of side to side swivel on the wrist completely be able to turn it down, up and down. He has this joint in the chest, which allows him to look forward that much and go back that far. It has a good rock side to side. The legs come out about that much for a split. I'm sure if you maneuver, it might be able to get out a little bit more. Come back up that much in the knee. And that knee joint looks still pretty good aesthetically. A lot of times when you get articulation in the knee like that, they tend to not look good. Like some of those Marvel Legend figures. Ankle, you get a nice rock side to side. You got a toe hinge. I mean, this figure is very articulated, like, and just here in hand, he's fun to play with. His head can move all around and swivel. He looks up that much, looks down that much. I know I've said in other videos that the articulation is my least favorite part to do, but actually when you get a good figure with good articulation, it actually is the funnest part to do. So I take back my statement on that. It might not be articulation I find boring. It's just that the figures themselves don't have articulation. So that's what makes it less fun. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's check out his accessories. He comes with this cowboy hat, which has nice paint details for the brim and this little design that he usually has. Pretty screen accurate. He even has this antenna on the side of the hat, which I don't think that original toy had. I don't know, I lost that hat like in 88. The only thing I worry about with this hat is this little bendy piece of plastic. So it goes up without being said, you have to be careful with figures. Then we get this neutral laser gun, which was a great design just from the show within itself. They even made a larger scale kind of laser tag type of gun back in the 80s. But this gun here that Dawson made it has great detail in the paint work. You can see in the design right here, the paint itself is a reflective paint. You also get this big cannon blaster looking gun. And I don't know what this gun is called. I know that 3030 Brave Star sidekick, that robotic horse man, which is a great design that I hope <laughs> this company makes or Ramen Toys makes. I know he named his gun Sir Jane, I believe. I don't know what the name of this piece is, but it looks pretty good. It's a shiny blue metallic paint, really dope. You also get the bottom half of this ponytail, which you're gonna use with the hat. So we just simply pop off the head right there so you want to pop the hair in the hat pop the hat on his head and there you go you got your futuristic native american space cowboy which hey growing up as a kid i didn't know he was native american all i knew is that he was brown I, I didn't know he was native american i thought he was chicano which is pretty much close to the same thing but that's probably what my uncle thought when he saw it on the shelf he's like hey check it out it's a chicano cowboy and they're like no it's a native american he's like eh, same thing here you go kid i'm really excited to get new figures from this line to discover what the line's about i can't wait for that ramen toys figure to come out later this year. You guys let me know what you think about Brave Star. Did you know who he was beforehand? Are you going to go watch the episodes on YouTube now that you've seen this review? Let me know. Make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that notification. I'm trying to grow the channel, you guys. If you guys want to do a deep dive on my channel, check out some like TMNT, Batman, Power Rangers figures, Dragon Ball Z figures. You're going to want to check out this playlist right here and we'll see you guys next time.